Hello, my friends. I have opened the Tempera Paint Studio, which is right in this corner, right in here. You can take a caddy and carry a set of paints to your table. Only one set per table. We've got to share. If we don't... These are the brushes and some tools for painting, which I'll show you more about in a minute. Um, and then this table is gonna be a table that things will change out occasionally. I mean, so I've got my table set up here. I've got my paper. I've got brushes, the paint, I've got some fun tools, I've got some reference sheets. Okay, so first thing I need to do is put some paint onto my palette. So um, I'm gonna scoop up some yellow, because I'm gonna make this green now. In order to make this green, I'm gonna use just a little bit of the blue. And I'm trying to not waste paint, so I'm really painting on that yellow. And my brush is not super clean, but the tip of it is, so I'm gonna scoop out just a tiny bit of that turquoise, and I'm gonna start mixing it. You see how powerful that is? You don't need very much. Now, tempera paint doesn't love water, but if you're trying to mix a color, you can dip just the tip of your brush and just touch the top of the water surface, and that will help you kind of um, mix the colors together. It also helps stretch your color a little further. <clears throat> Before I pick another color, I'm going to wash, 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 and I'm gonna look at it. If it looks like I've got most of the paint out, I'm going to wipe, wipe, wipe. As long as a lot of paint isn't gopping on the side, then I'm probably good. Dry, 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 okay? Your brush, again, doesn't wanna be super wet. Now, here's another way to mix colors. I could mix red and blue by double loading my brush. This is called double loading. And then painting with the two of them together. And I can kind of curve my brush and let those colors mix a little bit. I can go back over it. You see that purple that's starting to form in the middle? Wash, 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 wash wipe 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 dry 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 so let me show you that with the green stem um, if I were painting a flower or something I might use this and it gives it highlights it makes it look like it's got highlights on the side of it like the Sun is hitting it double loading is fun you can also use double loading wash 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 wipe 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 dry, 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 to create flowers and things like that. So I'm gonna double load some blue and some red again. I'm gonna try making a tulip or some kind of flower. See how beautiful that is? Okay, one thing you don't wanna do is get your brush, or I'm sorry, get your palette all mixed up. So you wanna spread your colors out and keep them clean as you paint. But see, things like that are gonna happen, no big deal. Tempera paint is fun. You just have to keep in mind that you need to keep your brushes clean when you're picking up colors and dry. Wipe, 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 dry, 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 okay? Um, you can layer tempera paint. So I could come in and I don't know what I'm doing with this part exactly. I'm just kind of playing around. Um, now, there are other tools too. You can scratch into your own paint with your the end of your brush. So I could come in and scrape away. You could do two layers of paint and then scrape away at it. That's really fun. You can also use tools like this, which I don't know if I've left a lot of room for this. Let me try. Where you can scrape paint away we did this with printmaking last year but can you see how it gave it some texture tools there's awesome. another tool that I want to show you that's really cool okay um, I'm just gonna turn my paper over okay this tool is just a squeegee it's a regular squeegee but you have to be very thoughtful about how much paint you use you don't need much at all so you just barely squeeze and you dot your paint around on your page now I'm gonna take this tool and I'm gonna pull it down my page. 
And I'm gonna come back up to the top and pull it down again. See these beautiful colors starting to mix. You don't have to fill the whole page. You might just make some stripes and then decide to do something different with it. Okay, so that's a really fun technique and you're gonna get paint on the table and that is not a big deal. And when you're finished with this, you're gonna wipe down the squeegee with your rag and you're gonna clean up your table with your rag too. Oops, I printed the other side right on the table. Okay, so those are a few techniques. Um, now I'm gonna show you the cleanup process. Okay, before I take anything away from my table, I am going to wash my brushes in my own water cup. So take a minute to wash, 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 wash. Check them out. How do they look? Oop, that big one looks not quite ready. So I'm gonna dry these guys. Dry, dry, dry. They look pretty ready. And then this guy, I'm gonna go back in and really wash him or her. <laughs> and wipe, wipe, wipe. That's looking better and dry, dry, dry. Now I'm going to take my brushes back and y'all probably remember we never bring the brushes to the sink. I'm gonna bring them directly back to the basket where they live. Then I am going to fill a bucket about halfway and then I'm going to wash both my palette and if my water cup needs it, I'm going to wash that. You need your rag for this. Now, I'm going to use my rag to really clean this palette underwater. I'm not pulling it out and I'm not turning on the water. This thing's already half full. I don't need to turn on the water, okay? Once I think I have it pretty clean, which I do, I'm going to put it to dry in the dish dryer right there. <clears throat> if my water cup is not too dirty, I'm just gonna pour the water to the side, not into the bucket, because we don't wanna dirty the bucket too much. And I'm just gonna kinda rinse it around in here, pour it out, and voila, that's good enough, okay? And then I can stack it back up with the water cups, okay? Then you're gonna put it back into the basket where it came from. And don't forget to put your work on the drying rack like I almost did.